It's the 20th anniversary of the Burns Wine Fest, and to celebrate this occasion, a special mural is being unveiled this Sunday at Edge at the Epicurean. Joining me this morning is Cassie Graytons, along with Dalek, the artist who is working on the mural. We have you just for a couple minutes because you got to go back yeah, and work. I have to get to work. <laughs> what a fun event. What a, what a great time to have him in town uh, this weekend. Kind of give us the overview on what you guys are celebrating this weekend. Well, I mean, we're the whole city is going to be celebrating Burns Wine Fest. It's grown so much. It's been here 20 years. Yeah. We're honored to be a part of it. For the second year last year, we had Tristan eat and do the mural. And we're honored to have Dalek. Like, um, our big thing is bringing artists here to inspire the local community, whether it's artists or just art enthusiasts. So mm -hmm. we are really excited to have him here and that we're going to have one of his murals in our city. Forever. Yes, this is so cool. And kind of what, uh, well, I guess. Can you kind of tell us what you are painting? Because obviously it's a work in progress. So can you it give is. us details on what it might look like this weekend or what the inspiration um, is? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's <laughs> always a little difficult, but it'll, it's a lot of geometric shapes, okay. a, lot of, a lot of movement, um, blues and reds. Do you know, so, like, do you have the, the finished product in your mind of know exactly what it's going to look like? Or do, do you go as you, you know? In this situation, it was all mapped out ahead okay. of time so that it would fit the wall and I could, you know, get the colors I needed. So we, pro we provided him with the space. We provided him with the idea of what they were looking for and we well we met with them with okay. Burns and Epicurean Hotel and then we thought Dalek was perfect mm -hmm. for what that they what they wanted to achieve and so we kind of let him go with it sent him things and he created something amazing sent us a cool. mock-up for it and now we're seeing it but seeing no one's it in progress, still, it's still I know. secret right now Let's well go. and I know we have another uh, piece of artwork of yours too but kind of mm -hmm. describe it give us a little background and kind of uh, you've traveled the world uh, I have I know oh look how cool this will be featured in colors lines and layers mm -hmm. which opens this Friday at Cass on South McDill at 7 p.m. it's open to the public and it's seven abstract artists um, that specialize in colors, lines, and layers. Mm -hmm. And so um, obviously he was perfect for this and it was great because we could have him here mm -hmm. for the Burns 20th Wine Fest anniversary. And so this is one of his pieces, kind of shows you how he works and he's kind of a genius with color, which is what we'll yeah. see at the mural um, at the edge. And we have six other artists from all over the world that they're all different styles. It's mm -hmm. going to be a really fun show. So. It was funny, we were talking about kind of Tampa and comparing it to other cities. I know Raleigh is your home now. I mean, right. what does when you see kind of this, um, when communities embrace the art cu culture, I mean, what have you seen kind of going into these different areas? and what's fun to kind of be a part of this. Yeah, it's great. I mean, anytime an individual community embraces public art, especially, mm -hmm. I, I, there's such a great benefit, you know, for mm -hmm. everybody. So, you know, for people who come into the edge, you mm -hmm. know, they'll have that experience now of, of living with some art, maybe understanding, appreciating art a little bit more. Um, so ideally, any kind of work like this encourages people to get a little more educated about mm -hmm. the arts. Yeah. And, and, and that's big for me. And we're seeing that in Tampa. We've talked about this before where we kind of are, you know, finally in the last couple of years, that's the direction we're moving. Absolutely. I think the demographic has changed a little bit in Tampa. And I also just think the people that are here are moving here, migrating to Tampa, have the desire and the hunger for art, food. Mm -hmm. And that's um, really been amazing to watch because yeah. we've been here 11 years and the gallery's been open three and we have seen such a difference and it's it's been really yeah. awesome. Well, give us the details again for the event this weekend, kind of break down what people can expect, when to get there. Yeah, it's um, April 21st. It's Colors, Lines, and Layers. Mm -hmm. It's featuring seven artists from all over the world. Um, we have food by Salt Block Catering. Mm -hmm. We have cocktails by Mandarin Hyde. And we're going to have beer from Coppertail Brewing. It's going to, it's open to the public. It starts at 7. Do you need a ticket to get in? Um, no, come in, enjoy the artwork, have some good bites, have a cocktail, and, and that's it. All right, and then when will the finish, when will the finished piece be done? Mm, probably by midday tomorrow. Midday tomorrow, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you so we much, appreciate Carly. your time. Oh, I hope you, you enjoy your time here in the Bay Area, and uh, thanks for coming in thank this morning. Yeah, thank we'll, you. we'll, of course, put more details on our website as well. Oh.